your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. In order to be a true samurai, you must have cat-like reflexes. Whoosh! Oh, nice one, grasshopper. What's going on everyone it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber and welcome back to the greatest show on youtube all right all right <laughs> all right here we go guys we are going to be doing a review of now i want to apologize i'm going to butcher this guy's name i'm going I'm to butcher this title so this guy is ada nabongo ada nabongo ada nabongo ada nabongo I think I did. I think I said that right. It's from Animusha, Animushu, Animusha Two Samurai's Destiny. We're kind of keeping it in the theme of uh, samurais right now. Um, our medieval, should I say, medieval stuff? Uh, if you guys didn't see one of my last reviews of this chick right here, check it out. We'll do some comparisons uh, as well. Uh, speaking of this line, I only own one other figure from this line, which is Goganta, Gogante de Dantes, Gogante Days. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I do like all these figures. Am I going to pick them up? I have no idea. This is based on the video game. If you're wondering, it's from Capcom 2002. So it is over 20 years old. This guy is out of package. Here was the last figure that I reviewed from this line. If you guys are interested, take a look at it. It's actually a really good figure. Um, we'll do some comparisons, of course. So let's quit wasting time, guys. Let's cut it out. And if you guys are joined here with me today, I just want to say thank you. Welcome to another mother freaking retro review. I'm trying to cut back on my on my uh, cussing. I'm trying to I'm trying to get monetized here. All right, I'm in na na. I'm in, um, Anima, Anima Shu, Anima Sha, Anima Sha 2. Here are some of the figs you can get. McFarland's Monsters, really, really dope. Um, I think, uh, it's a good wave. A lot of these are, are statues. I had the Dracula, I sold them off. <clears throat> here's Frankenstein, Mummy, Sea Creature, Voodoo Queen, Werewolf. And then here's Spawn, Alternate Realities, which is a pretty good wave. Uh, has the spawn on throne right there if you're wondering and uh, Oh, uh, yeah, I did review another figure from this wave. So I reviewed this dragon ray right here uh, Which was uh, The ancient worm right there the dragon which was pretty cool. So yeah, I've reviewed One other figure and then the dragon from this wave. All right, let's get to the reviewing guys Let's take this guy out of the package and uh, let's see, it doesn't to look too bad. We'll clip them out like so. Clip that out. Clip them out. Clip them out. Actually, I can untie this. These are actually not that bad. So let's untie this real quick. Okay. Now, let me know, guys, in the comment section, do you own any of these figures? And if so, what do you make of them? Let's, oh, what the hell, there we go, uh, I just want to let you know my toy room is a mess right now, okay, so here is the sword, let's pop the sword out, he does come with an interchangeable hand, which is a holding hand, so I do want that out, let me slice that open, pop that out, and I pop Pop Kawabunga, Kawabunga out of the package. <laughs> Alright, and he's small too. These figures are really small. I'm not used to figures being so small. I'm so used to reviewing, you know, McFarlane 7-inch figures. 
Yeah, this this is one thing I love about older McFarlane. I've said it time and time again. The detail is just amazing, bro. Some really, really great detailing on this cape. Look at that, bro. It's hard as hell. But the detail is just so nicely done, man. The shoulder pads, please don't break on me. Um, arms. Some of you guys say, hey, dickhead, warm your figures up before you start articulating them. But... I'm a risk taker, I, I, and I don't learn my lesson. Um, so there's that. Okay, so the arms are kind of stiff. Um, one thing I've noticed uh, about these figures that I really, really like is the articulation on them. I, I know this one. I remember this guy having some really good articulation, like in his legs, too. Like, look at the movement. So the he had, like, ball joint hips and they were nicely concealed too so that's one thing i liked about these figures being that they are samurai figures i can't say the same thing about his arms though his arms are a little weird and a little awkward um let me see here's this holding hand right here let me try to pop this hand out without breaking it there we go because i want him holding the sword obviously because he is a warrior warriors War warriors! Oh, you son of a biscuit! War warriors! <laughs> uh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it was a pain in the butt trying to get this hand onto his fist, but we got it nonetheless. All right, so as you guys can see, he does have brakes right there, swivel, so you can get him. That motion right there. Um, let me see. So yeah, as far as like articulation, yeah, look at that, bro. He's got some great articulation. He's got the ball joint hips. This is what they used back in the day, spe spe specifically to Toy Biz. Really great. He has the brakes right here too at the thighs, swivel. You can get him in some awesome poses like that. Uh, cool looking armor. Um, he does have knee bend barely because of the armor, uh, ri uh ankle, uh, bend, no swivel, but we'll just take a look at the detail, man. The detail, the detail is just amazing. Really, really great stuff. That's the main reasons why I bought this is because of the amazing detail we get from McFarlane toys. Even the face for 20 years old, you got to take this in consideration. 20 years old man so here is his uh sword and sheath sheath is it sheath or sheath there's the sword right there very fragile toys this was mcfarlane toys back in the day um it should peg in right there yep right there lift up his arm how well is this going to stay pegged in your guess is as good as mine yeah not bad and then let's get the sword all up in there. Very nice, man. Yeah, see, this doesn't stay in. I swear, man. You know when I, I when at, when uh, toy companies uh, uh, do action figures, I wonder if they actually think this stuff through. You know what I mean? I think a lot of the times they just do it just to make it look cool, and they don't think about the see. They don't think about the. The practical aspect of hey is this shit gonna stay when we put it on there you know what i mean oh yeah he does have wrist swivel as well or excuse me uh uh waist swivel and he does have torso swivel as well and yeah this this bitch is not gonna stay in here especially with the hard cape back there as well Yeah, this is this is a dumb, dumb idea. And then with the armor right there, the cape, I can't really put it forward because it'll look stupid as hell. But it might work. I think you had to put it forward. Yeah, see, that shit doesn't even stay in there. But anyways, nonetheless, I'm sure you guys are wondering about the size. Let's do some uh, size comparisons because, like I said, he is a small guy. So. Out of, 
Ada, Ada, Ada Nobunga, Nobunga, Ada Nobunga stands at uh, six and one eighth tall. That's just a little over six inches tall. Here he is with Gogant, Gogantes, Gogantes, right there. And very nice, man. This is these are very very nice figures. And if you guys want to see a review of him. He is in my McFarlane review. Go ahead and take a look at it. I just love the coloring on this guy. It's really, it's really, really nice, man. So the detail is really, really great for these figures, man. Uh, let's do... Here he is with the last figure that I reviewed of uh, Lotus Angel Warrior. You can tell in McFarlane, pretty much the same error. 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. Um, let me see... How about, I want to do some more, actually, you know what, let's do some medieval comparisons, why the hell not? Here he is with uh, medieval, not medieval, bloody variant spawn right there, I like to say he's medieval. But uh, yeah, you can see the size comparisons right there, obviously. Um, how about, ooh, this is a good one, uh, ninja spawn, you see the size comparisons, obviously, ninja spawn is over 7 inches. This guy, Kawabunga, is uh, over uh, just over six inches. Um, one of my upcoming reviews that you guys are going to eventually see of this guy right here. Stay tuned. You're going to be seeing him in a future review of Viper King. Um, how about let's do one more comparison. Here he is with Malefic Spawn. Right there. All right, guys, let me give you my rating. What do I make of him? I think he's very good. I mean, for a 20-year-old figure, the detail is really great. The articulation is not bad, especially in the legs. The arms, not so much. They're kind of weird and awkward. The cape kind of gets in the way. It's kind of bulky, but compared to modern-day action figures, uh, pff, you know, I mean, I don't think much has changed as far as, like, a bulky cape. It's not as bulky as, like, a Batman cape, but... Um, it's good. The overall detail, the head is really great. Really nicely sculpted, really nicely detailed. Um, the All the coloring and stuff. This doesn't stay on, which I didn't think it would. That kind of sucks. It should peg in there, but it doesn't. Overall, it's really, really nicely detailed. Like I said, the cape too. They went all out on the cape. Like you don't see this nowadays, man. They they don't put stuff like on the back of the figure. Like they put everything on the front and then on the back it's just blank. But just look at the detail for this guy. Oh, is he missing? Is he missing a mohawk? Hold on one moment. Hold on one moment. He's missing a mohawk, bro. Yeah, he's missing a mohawk. Not a mohawk, but a ponytail. Okay, guys, so yeah, I searched far and wide for his ponytail right here, um, but I lost it somewhere. It's not on my table anywhere. I have no idea. How about we use one of these twisty ties? <laughs> twisty ties, the peg and two there. He's got a ponytail. Yeah, so I'm missing his ponytail. I have no idea where it's at. It must have fell out or maybe it didn't come with it or what, but yeah, he's missing a ponytail. Okay, guys, um, let me give you my rating. Let's jump right to the point. So, being this a 20-year-old figure, pretty good articulation, uh, really great design, really great paint apps. I'm going to be very, very generous, and I'm going to give him like a 7.9. It's definitely unique, man. Really, really unique. I like stuff like this. This is a really, really cool figure. Uh, do I recommend it? I mean, I don't know, man. If you guys are, if you guys like medieval stuff, samurai stuff, Dark Ages, you know, he'll go very well into your, you know, McFarlane Dark Ages spawn you know lineup so yeah I, I definitely do think he's a pickup only if you can get him for cheap you know don't pay you know over 20 bucks for this guy because i don't really think he's worth it with all that being said it's a good figure 7.9 ladies and gentlemen uh really really cool line i really like this guy a lot if you guys didn't see a review of him check him out this is a really really cool figure man the paint apps and how everything is done on this guy is done very, very nicely. I didn't mean to spend that much time on this guy, but there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about uh, Kawabunga right here. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Oh, yeah, and if you played the game too, let me know. Was it a good game, bad game?
If you made it all the way to the end, let me know about the video game itself. All right, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.